Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview 0605, the latest update that literally just came out today. We're going to be comparing that versus Claude 4 to see which one performs the best. Now, if you're not sure about the new update and what it means, so there's a new version of Gemini 2.5 Pro, you can get access inside Open Router and also inside AI Studio. And it's had a 24 point ELO jump, it's supposed to be better at reasoning and also have enhanced creativity. We're going to be testing them side by side today and seeing which one performs the best. By the way, if you want this cheat sheet and all the prompts from today, feel free to get that inside the AI Success Lab. And we're going to get straight into this, all right? So let's pull them up side by side and we'll see which one performs the best. We're going to run this through a coding gauntlet and test them out, just see which one gives us the best output side by side. So the first prompt that we're going to test out is build a beat racer game. We're going to make sure that we have Pro Preview selected. By the way, you can use both of these models for free. Claude Force on it is free up to a limit. And also with AI Studio, what we're also going to do is select extended thinking on. And additionally, in fact, we'll select Opus 4 because that tends to be better for coding in general. And we'll run both of these models and just see side by side which one performs the best. Now, one thing you're going to know straight off the bat is because this is an early release, right? This is a preview model and version of Gemini 2.5 Pro. There's no canvas option. So we're going to have to run the code that we get back from AI Studio inside LiveWeave just to test the outputs. Whereas Claude Force on it can actually preview stuff directly inside the canvas. I also want to see how these models perform in terms of speed. So we gave these prompts at the same time and we'll see which one performs the best. To be fair, it seems like AI Studio blasts out the code, like it's blasting out tons of code line by line a lot quicker from what I can see. Additionally, whilst we're waiting for these, let's run through the benchmarks here. So if you go to Open Router, we can actually compare these side by side versus Claude for Opus. Now, if you're coding with the API, this is gonna cost you money for either model, right? So Gemini 2.5 Pro and the API of Claude for Opus are both paid models and you can see how they perform side by side. So Google has a much higher context window than Claude by 5X, right? 1 million context window versus 200K. It's actually 1.05 million now. And if we compare the providers side by side, so this is by Anthropic, this is by Vertex. Also, if we check this out, so look at the difference in price here. Claude for Opus, $15 input per million tokens. Input for Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview 0605 is 1.25 million, right? And then for output, $10 per million tokens versus 75 per million tokens, right? So Opus is a lot more expensive with a much lower context window. But let's see how they perform in real life. We've got AI Studio still coding out right here, whereas we have Claude Force on it with a beautiful little beat racer. Let's check this out. I'm actually going to mute that because that was way, way too loud. Let's see what we got back here. I really didn't like the sound effects there. That freaked me out. You never know with AI what's it going to come out with, especially on a live stream. So this is a super hard game to play, to be honest. Like, it, you got to be right there, ready to go. But not bad at all. Not bad. AI Studio seems to be struggling. It always seems to struggle with, like, audio jobs, right? So you can see here how long it's taken to code out the audio and just writing in numbers. So in the meantime, we can just move on to the next task and see which one performs the best. And for that, we're gonna build a whack-a-mole style game with absurdly fast moles and bright flashing visuals. I'm actually gonna remove the audio prompt simply because it just seems to confuse AI Studio. And I don't want that to ruin the tests. Let's run that and we'll run this on Opus as well. Fancy Cloud says, so what's great about this newer model? Honestly, from what I've seen so far, Claude is still beating it by a long way. The outputs, the speed, Claude has nearly finished coding the second task, whereas AI Studio is still on the first one and struggling. So from what I can see, you get a much better output from Claude versus anything else. All right, so AI Studio actually won on speed in the second test. Let's plug that in, see what we get back here. Here we go, Hypermole. What a game. Oh, ho, ho. that is a crazy one. That is hard to play, but I like it. I like what they've done there. It's a little bit too flashy though for this time in the morning. So 
AI Studio has created something really cool there. Let's see what Claude for Opus does. So it failed on the last HTTP. There we go. All right. So let's copy that. Can we get that to preview on the canvas? It's trying. Working its magic. And yeah, if you're wondering, so Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview. This is the 0605 model, as you can see on screen here. So you can see that this is the latest model from Google. Just came out literally a few hours ago. So let's try Claude's output here. Here we go. I'm still going to say that Claude won there, to be honest. Yeah, I would say that's a better game. Just looks a lot more interesting. And the UI is nicer. The other one was a bit too crazy on AI Studio, to be honest. And that is super addictive as well. Yeah, yeah. I want to say Claude for Sonic won again there, my friends. It won again. All right. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to test out on a new chat here versus AI Studio. We're going to test out creating a nice little cheat sheet. All right. So let's say, for example, you need to create a landing page or something like that really quickly. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take a prompt that actually ran through GenSpark and that created something super nice this morning. This one right here. And I'm going to enable Google search. So we're going to allow grounding with Google search so that it can search for stuff from today using Gemini 2.5 Pro Preview. We're going to run this prompt like basically what we're trying to do here is create like a beautiful landing page cheat sheet that promotes our funnels but at the same time creates all the information we need to know about gemini 2.5 pro preview 0605 and what we're looking for in terms of outputs is obviously design but also we're looking for really good information as well it needs to be presentable for a youtube video that sort of thing but so far from what i could see like Claude is winning by a long way. AI Studio is going to have to pull something amazing out of the bag. Claude has failed on that task. He said, Claude is unable to respond to this request. Start a new chat. All right, let's start a new chat. See what we get back. That's crazy. Look at this. It won't reply. Why is it being so weird? All right, so what we'll do is we'll go into Open Router and try inside the chat with Claude. It's going to cost me a fortune, but that's the price we pay for you. We're going to enable web search. And see what we get back. AI Studio has come back with some information, but it's not that well designed. Like I was looking for a, a sort of landing page style here. So I'm going to try that again and just say single HTML landing page. And there we go. How crazy is that? Like the API responds to me with that prompt, but the chat doesn't. Super weird. It's going to be hard for them to be GenSpark, to be honest. If you look at GenSpark's page, like it looks super nice. Got some nice like confetti animation right there clickable links, etc. Links to my funnels, nicely designed. It's very hard to beat that, but we'll see what they come back with in a second. So you have the code back from AI Studio first, and then we'll plug this in. See what we've got here. The ultimate dopamine cheat sheet by Julian Goldie. It's come up with a nice little title. Click for a dopamine rush and you get the confetti animation. That's a lot of confetti right there. All right, this is pretty nice to be fair. Like maybe it's just better for coding landing pages and stuff. He's added some nice prompts, links to our funnels, nice tables, FAQs, etc. It's got a gradiented background as well. I want to say that AI Studio did a really good job there. Now let's wait for Opus and see what we get back. Now, if you're wondering, okay, what did the benchmark say? So you can see here, for example, you got the benchmark side by side. So it is a lot cheaper than Claude Opus 4. And in terms of humanity's last exam, is outperforming Claude Opus, OpenAI 03, and DeepSeek as well at 21.6%. For science, it's outperforming all of the other models. So for a lot of benchmarks here, it's actually outperforming way better than most of the other models on the benchmarks. It does seem to create better landing pages and code that way. But let's see how it performs in terms of HTML code versus Opus. So we've got the code from Opus here. Let's test this out on LiveWeave. Here we go. Let's open this up full screen. Let's check this bad boy out. It's not bad, but I would say Gemini 2.5 Pro beat it by quite a long way there. So like this design is okay. But if we have a look at Gemini 2.5 Pros, it's just, it's more interesting. It's got more going on. It's added some example prompts more information, etc. It's also compared 
the Gemini 2.5 Pro experience. It's actually pulled in the right content here. For example, top scores on the Polyglot, number one ranking on Web Dev Arena, which I know it definitely has. It's got some nice questions and Q and A's here, and also it's linked to our funnels. So just to recap here, in terms of game creation, Opus seems to be winning. In terms of generating landing pages, I've actually seen better results from Gemini 2.5 Pro. Although some people are saying that Claude's landing page is better because it feels less squished in. All right. So we've tested out. The other thing about Claude there was that he just refused to respond to my request when I put it in the chat. So it would only create it by the API, which obviously costs money, which is kind of annoying. Let's test something else out now. So I'm going to say inside here, we'll go to a new chat. I'm going to say, okay, create an AI growth calculator, helping people understand how they'd save time with AI automations, make it fun confetti animations, crazy, etc. All right. So we're going to do that inside AI studio and then we'll do the same inside Claude. Um, we'll cook him out. We'll see some people are saying Gemini is cooking. Let's see what we've got back here. All right. So AI studio one on a time there on speed. Let's see what we got here. We've got the AI time warp. Pretty nice UI looking good. Unleash AI. You can't exceed the total work hours. All right, let's put this down. We got too excited there. So I've got to knock those down, unleash the AI. The UI is not that nice. So the only thing I would say is, for example, you can't really read that properly. And also it doesn't feel that fun. It's basic, but okay. If we have a look at AI Studio Claude now, and we'll change this to five, for example. Yeah, that's working nicely. I would say the UI is better than that. It's more readable. I like the flashing lights on the headline. Looks pretty cool. I can just publish it as well. This was using Claude Sonnet, by the way, which is not even the most powerful model, but you can see here how it, you can publish it. It looks pretty good. Yeah. I'm going to say for creating tools and calculators and that sort of thing, Claude Sonnet won there as well. All right. So overall, what am I saying? I'm saying that for landing pages, it seems like Gemini 2.5 pro just nudges it on the new version, which is 0506, sorry, 0605, but Honestly, overall, Claude Sonic, Claude Opus, I'm sticking with it. You just can't beat it. It's unstoppable. The only thing I don't like is the price on Claude. And obviously, if you're optimizing for the API, then you probably use Gemini 2.5 Pro simply because it's a lot cheaper and also it seems to be faster when it's coding out. All right. So if you want to get all the notes from today, feel free to get that inside the AI Success Lab. We've also got a Gemini 2.5 Pro course, as you can see along with links to all these other AI automation courses on agents and attend templates, etc. All the video notes are right there. We've got a hundred different prompts on how to use Gemini 2.5 Pro 0605. And additionally, all the prompts that I've mentioned from today, we've got inside here, plus another tutorial on Claude versus Gemini 2.5 Pro. So feel free to get all of this inside the AI Success Lab completely free. Link in the comments description. It comes with 9,500 members, as you can see right here. And we're just giving away free trainings. So make sure you don't miss out on those because we give away stuff like every single day it is absolutely amazing. And additionally, if you want to connect with me, if you want coaching support, if you want DMs, if you want a community with good vibes that celebrates wins and shares knowledge together, feel free to get the AI Profit Boardroom. I'm going to record a video today answering all of these automations. 28 people posted comments on what they want to see with AI automations. And each week I just create a video answering and giving people the answers to every single one of these automations along with templates. Top of that, we have free coaching calls a week inside the AI Profit Boardroom, and you can post inside the community anytime you have questions like you can see right here. We get back to you as soon as you want. For example, Richard posted, I answered him same day. And so did Vic, who also runs the community. And yeah, it's just an awesome community of good people, serious about AI, who want to scale their business and make more money. Additionally, we're also adding loads of different courses and tutorials and templates each week inside here, which is pretty wild. And it's just focused on one thing. The goal for everyone who joins is to make more money and save time with AI. Additionally, if you just, Julian, I want you to automate all of this stuff for me, help me figure it out. So you can jump on a free AI strategy session. We'll jump on that call and together we can look at your website or your business, figure out what you need to automate. And then from there, put a plan together in terms of doing it for you. All right. And that should save you at least a hundred hours per month, right? That's the whole goal of this. So 
feel free to book that in link in the comments description 